Now, a lot of stars around the NBA have been struggling this season. I think everybody knows that. But today, I'm going to be picking out the three stars that have been struggling a little bit more than everybody else. And what I mean by struggling is struggling consistently. So let's get straight into it. Let's start with James Harden. Now, James Harden is a catalyst of a lot of NBA hate because of how he plays. You know, the last couple years before this year, he was hooking people's arms to get fouls. He was doing all these egregious acts to basically manipulate the NBA system. And I mean, it worked. This season, though, people are happy because it's not the same. You cannot do the same movements that he's done in the past. And it's changed his game a lot. Now, James Harden used to be very aggressive, and we know that. I mean, in Houston, he used to average almost 40 points per game in consecutive seasons. And from that to turn into a very passive guy is quite crazy because we didn't expect James Harden to be so passive, especially when Kyrie went out because he's been out and he's probably going to be out the rest of the season. I don't think we all expected him to still be passive. But nonetheless, James Harden is averaging a near career low in free throw attempts per game, which is 4.6. He's shooting 39% from the field. He's only attempting 13 field goals a game. That's crazy. He's averaging, he's making like five of them. Harden has been so inefficient this season that, yeah, I think the rules might have impacted him, but I think what impacted him even more was his mentality. His mentality change from Houston to Brooklyn was quite significant. And people don't talk about it enough. 25 points in Houston would have been an off night for James Harden. But in Brooklyn, it was a regularity. Yeah, he paired that with eight rebounds and like 11 assists. But it was a regularity for him to not shoot as much as he has in the past. However, though, I think this is coming back to bite him. In this new system, the new foul system that the NBA has put forth, now, since James Harden is a lot less aggressive, when he doesn't get the calls he gets, I think he just kind of shuts down mentally. Now, if we look at this clip where Sadiq Bey stripped him and James Harden just started walking off the floor, I think this can be one small example of him shutting down mentally. All game, you know, James Harden wasn't getting calls. And that's how it's been this whole season, that he's not been getting calls. But, I mean, that's kind of the reality that we're in right now. So James Harden, he has to change his game if he wants to get back into an all-star form. Because right now, he's just not playing like one. Sure, you can say 18 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists is a nice stat line. And it is. But it's not a James Harden stat line. 18 points and 9 assists. It's like a Darius Garland stat line. So, James Harden, you need to check your shit. Because James Harden, to me, so far this year, has regressed the most out of any superstar. Now, let's move on to the next star who's been struggling this season. And this is Russell Westbrook. Now, I'm not a Russell Westbrook hater. And there's been a lot of catalysts who just look at Russell Westbrook as a terrible player. But we do have to recognize how bad he's been playing. Now, understand, Russell Westbrook is still averaging 19 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, kind of like what James Harden is doing, you know. But to me, J Russell Westbrook is always going to get his stats, and that's the same thing with James Harden. So these 19 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists don't hold much weight to me because the one thing that the Lakers needed the most out of him was obviously playmaking, but after playmaking, it was shooting. They need him to shoot to a certain level. Not that he has to be a good shooter, because we know he's probably never going to be a good shooter. You know, he could probably say for himself that in his whole career, he's never been a great shooter. But he needs to be an improved one. And this year, he's been a regressed one. Field goal percentage of 41%. I'm going to keep it a bug with you. That doesn't even move me, you know. Russell Westbrook has those seasons where he shoots around 40% from the field and is still insanely impactful. That's not the biggest problem. The 25% from three... And the 64% from the free throw line is very concerning. Now, Russell Westbrook at one point in his career was shooting 85% from the free throw line. If he shot 85% from the free throw line this season, it would improve his efficiency and the Lakers' success so much. I don't know what happened to his free throw game. I don't. People have been saying, oh, he put on weight. Bro, he was shooting really well in his MVP season. And he was jacked as fuck. So I don't understand what happened to his free throw shooting. But that is a big sign of concern. Now, a 47% true shooting percentage is not good either, but I also want to touch on his defense. His off-ball defense is objectively terrible. Now, the Lakers are known as a great defensive team, so once LeBron comes back, that's fine if he's not the best player on defense, but Russell Westbrook does have to lock in, and I said this in my previous video, that if the Lakers are going to do anything, Russell Westbrook needs to lock in and focus. Because he's had a lot of late game turnovers. I mean, the Lakers just last night took the 10 plus point fourth quarter lead and then almost lost the game. 
Not only because of Russell Westbrook, but Russell Westbrook did play a big part in that. I do think his window of succeeding is closing on this roster. He's not just he's just not been proving himself. A lot of this roster succeeding so far has been them playing lottery teams and Carmelo Anthony shooting like 80% from three. Now the last star I'm going to talk about that is struggling is Jason Tatum. He has struggled so much to the point where the team thinks they have to make a trade. Now, there was the Ben Simmons rumor trade, and I'm not going to say that that was really smart because I don't think it's going to go through. Daryl Morey wants way too much for that man. But Jason Tatum has been struggling this season and has really went under the radar. Now, Celtic fans will probably tell you, no, he gets slandered a lot. He's been struggling and people have been calling him out on it. Sure, but not like James Harden or Russell Westbrook. And objectively, he might have been he might be playing worse than both of them. Jason Tatum, a 48.8% shoot shooting percentage this season. 23 points per game. He's shooting 39% from the field, 32% from three, and 75% from the free throw line. Those are all career lows. I thought with the new rule changes, the free throws, the people that it would affect the most was James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Trey Young. Because it's not like they depend on free throws, but it does give them a lot of advantages. However, though, maybe I'm considering putting Jason Tatum in this list. We know when we saw Jason Tatum playing at a superstar level in the past, where he had that one month span where he was averaging like 32 points on like 65% shooting percentage, a lot of him being that efficient was his ability get, to get to the free throw line. And I mean, that's just not been an ability for him this season. Five free throw attempts a game. You cannot do that as a big forward who has a lot of scoring gravity, especially as a best player on your team, like Russell Westbrook and James Harden aren't the best players on their team, so they can take an off night. But the Celtics' success kind of revol revolves around Jason Tatum. Now, right now, he's not been successful. Now, Jalen Brown has been keeping them in games and has been single-handedly playing his ass off for the Celtics. But Jason Tatum hasn't been doing the same. Now, why I think he's struggling is, again, because of the free throws. Now that he heard the free throw, the new free throw rule has come into effect, I think that made him less aggressive inherently. Now, it's not smart, it's not good for his game, and it's not good for the Celtics, but it's, in, it's inevitably what's happening. If Jason Tatum doesn't get back to that all-star, superstar form, the Celtics are missing the playoffs. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all for watching the video. If you hear my voice cracking to some shit, it's because my shit is cooked, all right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not good right now. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see y'all next time. Hey, come on, I got a bag on me. You try to take it, leave you stinking like your last homie. She kinda cakey, little baby, put that ass on me. But I ain't that horny, do you got some cash for me? Why every time you ask him that, bitch, is that funny? And you keep trying to hold the strap, you won't slap for me. You too happy, I can tell you never had money. Every time you get on live, got a flash money.